Ayala Mala Moskowitz prize open campus manhole covers in hopes of collecting clues that could help stop the spread of COVID. It's really cool to just be learning more about it and I've done more with bacteria and less with viruses, so it's really cool to be kind of looking in the virus direction. The PhD candidate, along with civil and environmental engineering professors Peter Vickisland and Amy Pruden, are looking for traces of the virus in wastewater. It's an early indicator in that essentially you can measure these signals in wastewater three to four, five, seven days faster than you actually oftentimes measure clinical cases. Samples are sent to the Molecular Diagnostics Laboratory at the Fralin Biomedical Research Institute for testing. And what we do from there is to elude or remove those microorganisms and amplify them for the presence of the virus. So the process is different at the beginning from what we used to do for students and staff and faculty and the general public, but it's essentially the same in terms of amplification. So the detection is equally accurate. The beauty, researchers say, is being able to detect the virus sooner than testing patients. The really cool thing about this approach, and that's what I like it the most, is the fact that you detect pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic individuals. That is something that you won't detect unless the person gets randomly tested for, for, for COVID. Researchers collect samples from more than a dozen campus sites. If the virus is detected in the sewage, it will lead to further testing. The ultimate goal is to take the information and essentially relay that to the Virginia Department of Health so that they can then go and do more detailed actual clinical testing. So actually get people in to do swabs and find out who are the people within this population in a dorm um, that are essentially emitting the virus. Wastewater testing gives researchers a way to be proactive in detecting the disease before it spreads. There's so many researchers doing this, so it's, it's nice to be part of a really big community that's all trying to figure it out together.